While Dragon Prince news has been quite sparse lately, there is still a lot to look forward to. For example, the Dragon Prince is getting its very own board game, Battle Charged. I got the chance to check it out along with Deep Cut and the co-host of my Dragon Prince podcast, Kuno. We had a ton of fun, and after you get an early look at the game, you can pre-order it starting today, June 24th through July 26th, with the link in the description below. If you pre-order at BrotherWiseGames.com, you'll get the special Dark Callum hero card and action deck. Playable with the existing Callum miniature, it shows how Callum might battle if he had followed the path of dark magic. The game is expected to hit stores this September. It's definitely the most fun I've had playing a board game in a very long time. And now, here's the co-creator of the game, Johnny O'Neill, starting things off with an explanation of it. Right? Yeah. Welcome to the Dragon Prince Battle Charged. This is a tabletop game that we are honored to be making based on one of our very favorite animated series ever. Um, I'm Johnny O'Neill. My brother Chris uh, and I together form a company called Brotherwise Games. And one of the things we've done is we've had the chance to just make games based on some of our very favorite fandoms. Uh, one is called the Stormlight Archive. Uh, but we're also big animation fans, longtime Avatar fans, and uh, The Dragon Prince has been a series we've loved since you know the day it came out and we've been watching it. So when we heard there was a chance to pitch for making a board game based on it, we leapt at that chance, we pitched for it, we talked to the creative team, which was super exciting, and then, um, you know, long story short, 18 months later, we've got a board game about to come out. So the Dragon Prince Battle Charged is what's called a tactical miniatures game, which basically means you're moving around little figurines on a map uh, and battling. And we decided to go with this for our first Dragon Prince game. We are working on another one. Uh, but we just wanted to create kind of this fast paced, almost arcadey style take on a battling game featuring these characters, but in a way that really kind of brings out who they are in the show, has a little bit of fun with it, and uh, and sets them into these battles. So there's going to be another one. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, Battle Charge is this. You know, as a system, we've designed this so that we can do expansions um, and mm -hmm. you know potentially do characters we haven't done. But we're also working on an entirely different Dragon Prince game that is um, more about kind of telling the the story of the first three seasons and that journey to Zadia. Uh, a game that is less about combat because ultimately this show isn't about fighting uh there's just a lot of cool fight scenes uh and so that game is more kind of all-encompassing uh and that's going to be a co-op game this is a head-to-head -head battling game and uh, again it's a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more just about hey what if you took these characters put them into a fight who would win uh which is always kind of a fun question to ask with uh with any fandom i feel like and for today i've set up kind of a fun a U scenario where it's like, okay, what if at the end of season three, the final showdown was not what it was, but instead was between Viren and Claudia versus Soren and Ezrin. Uh, and Ezrin is uh, potentially coming with his full team of animal buddies. So we're here on the Stormspire Pinnacle map. We've already got our characters selected and uh, I don't know if everybody wants to say hi real quick. Who's playing? Hey guys, just deep cut. <laughs> and I'm Haley. I'm muted. And yeah, oh, go ahead, Kuno. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, it's Kuno. Uh, hi everyone. Now you can see my face. Yeah, I do a yeah. Dragon Prince podcast with Kuno from time to time, which everyone should check out because we've interviewed quite a few voice actors and the creators and done other fun things. So I invited her to um come play the dragon prince board game with us awesome yeah a fun part of this for me has been getting to play this game with the creators with aaron and with justin uh, and other members of the creative team um because they're all gamers and they want to make sure that any game that comes out based on their world is a good one and so they're part of the playtesting team that we've had to you know play versions of each game we've made uh with them at like key points in development and uh, they've even made comments that have uh, kind of changed changed the game. Like I, I had a card called Slash in Rayla's deck, and Aaron was like, "Well, that that screenshot is clearly Slish," and it made me realize I should have a card called Slish. And so now Rayla has both Slish and Slash in her deck. I love uh, that. <laughs> I love that. 
along with other moves like you know sweep the leg and uh, other other essentials like that. But uh, today we're pretending Rayla wasn't there, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, we're always playing in teams in the Dragon Prince Battle Charged. Uh, we think that's kind of a big part of how the characters interact. They they kind of fight together, and uh, this is our setup here, which means we're each going to draw four cards to start the game. Uh, if we're playing a two-player game, we'd each shuffle decks together and control two characters. Um, if it was a three-player game, you might do you know, two of you, and I'll control two characters. But when you're controlling one character, you draw four cards. So if we very quickly hover over our decks and uh, you press a four, then you'll have four cards jump into your hand. And that's just in the tabletop version, uh, tabletop simulator version of this. In real life, of course, you would just pick up <laughs> the cards. Uh, and now uh, we'd normally roll to see who goes first and who picks the map and everything. But I'm going to suggest actually that the heroes go first um, because the downside of going first is that it means uh, you can't attack. But Ezrin, as a pacifist, actually gets benefits from not attacking. So uh, it's always nice when Ezrin gets to go first. So that mm -hmm. means that Kuno will be our first up. And Kuno, what you're going to do is you're, you can see the cards in your hand. Uh, and just actually for the sake of um, kind of demonstrating to everybody, if you don't mind, I'm going to yank the cards out of your hand and put them on the table <laughs> so everyone can see. Uh, so you've got a couple cards here that are um, techniques which is flash mm -hmm. and snack break. And a technique is like kind of just a thing that your character does. Uh, and uh, you can do as many of those as you have cards in your hand to do. Uh, there's no limitation on those. Okay. You've got a react, which is usually how you block an attack or sometimes how you boost an attack. And you have an ongoing card, which is something mm -hmm. that only Ezrin and Viren have. And those are cards that stick around and have a lasting effect. Now you've got Pyrrha there, the red dragon. That's an awesome card to have. It's it's in some ways, Ezrin's like ultimate, you know, bring a dragon in to help with the fight, but uh, it costs five energy and you only have one energy right now. So it's gonna be a little while before uh, you can play that. Um, though maybe you can play it on your next turn if you play your cards <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, the first card here, Flash, says if Baton is, is in play, you can make somebody discard an attack card. You know, you're flashing so they uh, they can't see you. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you don't have bait. Um, so you can actually Ooh. discard that card um, to draw another card. And oh. I'll just grab that card for you. And now you've got Encourage. And Encourage is a boost that can help one of your allies attack. Uh, <laughs> these cards are certainly most effective if we don't know you have them, but we'll pretend <laughs> we don't know you have them. Um, the last card here is Snack Break. Uh, you know, Ezrin's got to have his jelly tarts. And this lets you charge two and gain a heart if you're not already at your max hearts. Uh, but that it means you have to end your turn. So before you play that, you want to move. And every turn, you if you don't have a move card, you can always play your basic move. So if we uh, hover by pressing Alt on Ezrin's card, you can see his basic move is that three with a foot next to it. So that means he can run three squares. Okay. He also has a basic attack, uh, which is he can do one damage to somebody three squares away. But again, it's your first turn, so you can't attack on your first turn. So Kuno, why don't you move Ezrin wherever you want him to move? You can move him right through uh, Soren. Characters don't block movement in this version of the game. And you can kind of Put them wherever feels right. Uh, let's put them right there in the, in the action. Yeah, that's cool. So you, you've right now, this map is a pretty wide open map. Um, true to the pinnacle in the show, there's there's really nothing in the way except this sort of this bird feeder in the middle. Uh, so that's blocking terrain. It has a white square around it, which means if somebody's on the other side of it, they're not going to be able to hit you with an attack. Uh, which is good. That means you're kind of hiding a little bit. That's something Ezrin does a lot of before Ezrin builds up power. Uh, having done that, you can play any techniques you want. So why don't you play Snack Break? Even though you don't need to heal right now, it's a huge boost to be able to charge two on your first turn. So you play a card just by moving it to your discard pile. Okay. So we just move it So over here. Yeah. So if you move it there, normally it would, you'd be 
playing it out of your hand there. You can let go of it. And what that lets you do is charge two. So every character has energy in this game, and that's how you get stuff done. So if you hover over your energy die there and press three, that will press click the, it up. Press the, the keyboard three? Yeah. OK. So now Eight. Ezrin's got three energy. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can go ahead and take these cards and put them back in your hand. Okay, uh, thank you for doing that because I wasn't your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and um, now uh, Ezrin can end his turn. And there's a couple things that happen when you end a turn. The first is that you can discard and draw as many cards as you want. I think you want to keep those cards. Those are pretty good cards. So instead yeah. of discarding anything, why don't you just uh, tap one to draw your fourth card. OK. Uh, but there are times where you might discard your whole hand because you want to get to something else in your deck. And then you would get to draw four cards. Um, so that's that's key to success in this game. And then now you've got your four cards. Now your turn is over. And at the very end of your turn, it says, uh, if at the end of your turn, if Ezrin did not make an attack, charge two. And that's exciting. That means you can tap five on your little energy counter. Okay. And now Ezrin's got five energy. That's a huge energy swing on your first turn. And that's going to let you play that uh, Pyrrha card on your next turn that we don't know about. Uh, however, <laughs> it does mean, you know, you might not want to play, you know, that Encourage React, uh, even if you normally would. All right. Now we're over moving clockwise to Soren. Um, so we got Haley controlling Soren. And if you want, you can try to just play it based on what you've learned, or you can put your cards on the table and we can talk through them. How do I grab all of them? I, I, I think. Oh. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is good because we've got t the two remaining uh, card types are now visible. Sprint is a move card, um, and that lets Soren run four instead of his usual two. Soren's, you know, a uh, armored character. He's not quite as light on his feet as uh, <laughs> many of the others. Uh, and then you've also got Spinning Strike, uh, which is an attack card. And the attack cards are basically things that do more damage than your base attack. Uh, you can't afford to play Spinning Strike, and you can't attack on your first turn anyway. Uh, and then Form Up is a pretty cool card, um, but one that I don't really foresee you using on this turn. It lets you boost an attack if you've got somebody next to you, uh, or it lets you get somebody next to you if you don't. But uh, what I would do if I were you is I would probably just move Soren like here to kind of be next to Ezrin. And Soren has a couple of protect cards that help him defend whoever's next to him. So you usually want to stay next to your buddy. So was, did you just like for using my sprint card? Is that what? So that was used. That, so moving two would just be oh, moving. Still? Okay. Uh, was it actually two? Now that I think about it, yeah, I, that was just one two. You can move gotcha. diagonally in this game. And uh, so is the if you do sprint, is that moving four or adding four? That is moving four. So actually, let's do this. I'm realizing you don't have any protect cards in your hand. There's nothing that's gonna. Um, help you for being right next to Ezrin right now anyway. So why don't you play your sprint card so you can make your little discard pile over there. And that way you can get two more and that'll get you closer to your enemies because you're a melee fighter. You're the one character who really needs to get next to people in this game. I can do that. Yeah, now you can do that. And if you wanted to, you could get Ezrin next to you with a form up. Uh, but for now, why don't we just leave Ezrin where he is. Okay. And then you can... Uh, you know, I think those are all good cards to keep in your hand again, so you can just press one to draw a card. All right, so now it's over to Deep Cut. All right, so I think what I want to do is play this card first, which should allow mm -hmm. me to charge up three more. Charge is saved from one turn to the next, correct? Absolutely. Cool, so I'd want to do that, and I would discard this card. And okay. Is that the one I wanted to discard? Yeah, that's the one I chose to discard. So that should bring me up to five charge now. Absolutely. And so um, Claudia is all about making sacrifices to power herself up, right? Uh, and so in this case, instead of little animals, she's sacrificing cards. 
Uh, but you know, a marked improvement. <laughs> in your head, you can you can you can imagine every one of those is like an adorber. So. Oh God. <laughs> You can just uh, you can just press. Uh, I guess it would be five. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So you're fully charged up, uh, which is a scary thing for Claudia to be oh, yeah. fully charged up on her first turn. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, what's the range I need to be within someone in order to attack them? So your basic attack is a range three damage one. So to to be able to attack Soren, you'd need to be basically one square closer to him. One, cool, two, and I three. can move up to three. Now I also am able to use a card to do a special attack, right? Yeah, so now that now that um, the first team is done playing, we can play a full turn. And on any turn, you can play a move and an attack. It can be either your basic move or basic attack that's printed right on your hero card, uh, or it can be one of the cards in your hand. Cool, and just to clarify, do I have to move three spaces or can I move just you, the one? You can move just the one. So I could pick up my character, move her right here, and then if I wanted to use a special attack like this one. Yes. Now, um, that is, that, that's, that's a great card. You will only be able to target Soren with that, mm-hmm. um, but you know, that's just fine. It deals- Let me, maybe the other one might be best for now. Save that for when I can get them both. Because this one will do just as much damage, but Haley will also lose some of her charge. Perfect. Uh, so that's that's a good one. So to play that, the first thing that would happen is you'd pay for it. Mm-hmm. So you can tap three on your uh, on your die. Or, oh, you, three. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Got it. And then um, now we check to see if it hits. So um, every attack in this game essentially like automatically hits and deals its damage unless it is blocked. Uh, so. Two things are good news for Haley right now. One is that Soren is like a tank, right? Like he's he's somebody who he's a frontline fighter, and he actually charges up every time you attack him or somebody next to him. Um, so the first thing that would happen is actually uh, Haley, you'd be able to charge Soren up one, pressing three on his little energy die, and now you'd be able to decide if you have any react cards, you could play one. So what's why don't you try playing one just? so you don't get all discharged by the slithering steel spell. So I have this. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so you've got Stand Firm, uh, which is a, a very tough React card to get around. It costs one, so you click back down to two. Um, and you've got now one block versus this attack. And the way blocks and boosts work, it's just they, it's it's yes or no. Does the attack hit or does it not? A blocked attack does not hit. So unless Deep Cut or I play a boost on this, which I don't have and I'm guessing he doesn't have. I do not believe I have one now. Then that attack is blocked. Um, and even if we did play a boost on it, Haley could just uh, pay another two to give it an additional uh, block. Um, mm. So that's like... Uh, that's that that's that's showing like Soren at the uh, throne room doors taking on mm-hmm. like six moonshadow assassins. So that's his that's his toughest block card. Oh man! Uh, so there you go. So that is resolved. The slithering steel does not hit, which means Soren does not lose two additional energy. So he's not wrapped up in metal snakes. And unless you've got any other techniques to play, that would be the end of your turn. Techniques are specifically what kind of cards? The same uh, card or the 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 brown bordered got cards? It. Nope, that's all I got. All right, cool. Then uh, one thing you could do is you actually haven't used used Claudia's charging ability yet. So if you wanted to get rid of one more card, you could charge up one, and then no matter what, you're drawing up to four at the end of your turn. But if you got a good card there, you want to hang on to, which you do. Yeah, then, I'm hang on to it. <laughs> then yeah, I, you can just draw three and end your turn. Cool. So do that. I oh, uh, yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Finally, we're over to Viren, and Viren is even like darker in his ability. Uh, for Viren to charge up, he has to deal himself damage, uh, which Jesus. starts starts <laughs> off. Eh, you know, it's a little dark, but uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's you know. Uh, Think of it not as sort of traditional self harm, but as just him like <laughs> getting more like. Uh, no, you know. it completely makes sense because like as dark, you know, 
it's dark magic you you got to sacrifice something and those they so that's like the how do i say almost like the play kit you know that's their kit yeah it's 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 like the it's like the sith lord thing of you, you get more uh you know dark circles under the eyes and <laughs> a little more withered unless you've got a butterfly around to uh charge you back up so i'm i think i am gonna go ahead and do that because i've got too much cool stuff i want to do so i just um that's the first damage uh, of this game is me damaging myself <laughs> and i'm going to play a couple of ongoing cards the first is mystical ally uh which is my connection to erevos and um once per turn if i've dealt myself damage i get to draw a card so a nice little combo with that built-in ability and then I'm also going to play the Staff of Zyard, which makes my dark magic attack and t- attacks and techniques cost a little bit less to play. Um, so that feels like a, a good thing to do. And man, I've got an interesting hand of cards here. I think I actually have to get rid of this card even though it's quite a good one bind soul which is you know what he did to uh all of the all all of all of all of uh rayless parents uh except except athari yep uh and then um that is oh i haven't made my move so i think i'm gonna just step a little bit closer try to stay out of soren's range if i can um, but that way I'm close enough to move toward him for an attack next turn. Um, so I'm not going to make an attack. Um, well, let's see. I was here. One, two. Yeah, actually, Soren is just out of Virian's range for a basic attack. Uh, oh, no, no, he's not. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Who designed this game? Okay, so I am, uh, I am, I am actually within range for a basic attack, so I'm going to just play the first basic attack of the game. Uh, Viren's basic attack is quite powerful. It has three range and deals two damage. So here, uh, you know, good news. You get to charge up another one, Haley. But bad news, unless you have another react card, um, this one's going to hit. So do I... Why do I charge? Is that just something that happens? Every time somebody tries to attack you, you always uh, get one charge. Gotcha. And then I have three cards. Am I supposed to have four, or is it because I use I used this? It's because you I... used that. Okay. So if you have another react card, it might I... be able to no. save you. <laughs> but if you don't, that damage is getting through, and those hearts go away. So we would just dr- grab those hearts and kind of move them to the side. So oh. you are down to five health. But hey, for Claudia and Ezrin, that's their starting health. Yeah. So you're still doing you're still doing all right. Uh, and that's going to end my turn. So I'll draw two cards and Owned. end. I'm going to throw Hail Mary and like place in because he's cute. So um, where would I put him at? So uh, ongoing cards just kind of go somewhere next to your card. They're the only type of okay. card that just sticks around. Okay. So question, could I have Zim and Pyrrha? Absolutely you can. Um, oh, but okay. the nice, the um, and they're both they're both good though. You know, hanging on to hanging on to Pira for another turn isn't uh, isn't a bad idea because mm-hmm. um, <laughs> sometimes you might want to just hold on that really big attack that Pira gives you. But so yeah. to play Zim, you'd have to uh, move your energy counter down to three. Okay, move it down to three. How would I move? Would I move my attack? plus one or as long as he's up it's always just going to be plus one as long as he's he's uh he's up it's going to be plus one and now if you want to you could go one two three and be or even one two okay I think and I'll be move. within range for an attack i think i'll move yeah would i be i think maybe next to i want to move next to sword somewhere so let's just go here as one's brave perfect uh and then um now your you may have other cards you want to play but if nothing else, you could now zap Claudia with an attack, okay. and if it hits, 
then Soren, uh, then Viren would take an attack too. So how would I go about doing that? Remind me again. Like, so that one is that would just be your basic attack, uh, mm -hmm. which which has three range. So if we look here, one, two, three gets you just to Claudia. So you okay. couldn't hit Viren, but you could hit Claudia. Okay. How would I physically do that? Um, you just say that you're doing it, and oh, okay. then um, then it is up, and it doesn't cost you any energy or anything like that. So then it would be up to um, Deep Cut to say whether he's going to block. OK. So I guess I'm doing it. I am going to try to tag Claudia with Ezra. Sorry, Claudia. So I'll see how that plays out. Well, and I can only block if I have like a special card, right? Yeah, so if you have, you've got a card called Shadow Shield that would let you block. No. Nope. All right, so you don't, so you're going to take two damage. And I'm actually going to take a damage too, because it's lightning and it zaps over to Viren. Bummer. Good job. I should write this. This is intriguing. This is an intriguing scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, oh god. Well, you know, it's kind of like what Soren thought was happening at like the base of the mountain. Uh, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That was messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was really messed up. That's w one of the worst things Claudia did. I feel like is uh, make Soren think he was killing his dad. I love how that's uh. one, not even the words. It's just one. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Um, I guess, yeah, it depends on how you feel about um, animal cruelty. <laughs> I guess. And I guess general, like general, like I, don't, I was about to say resuscitation, but I don't think I think that, I don't think that's the word. I'm gonna take one. I think I'm supposed to take one. Okay, and then yeah, I guess... and and also, did you have any before you take that? Were there any other technique cards? The 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 cards that look sort of like Calum spell book. Um, oh, um... That you wanted to play. For example, if you had Zappy Kisses, this would be a great time to play it. Yeah, I do want to play that because. Um, oh, okay. So Perfect. I will play that just to like prepare myself for the next time, and just in case, I'm gonna put that there, and then I make this. So since it's charging me two, so I'm back up to five. Nice. That's so you fun. might be able to play Pyrrha next turn. Uh, all right, cool. And then you uh, draw the card to end your turn. Okay, and... I think I did. That was the oh, card I did. Oh well, if that's the card you drew, I not to be a stickler, but technically you can't play that to your oh, okay. next turn. I can take. It, I it doesn't really it matter because you know those two energy are just as good to you with you know okay so, i can yeah. take it back though and like play it properly later yeah go ahead and do that so you'll be i'll, I'll click you back to three okay. and that'll be the end of your turn a successful turn if you can deal three damage in a turn you're, you should feel pretty good about yourself <laughs> okay. and and then i'll just pretend like i played it next when i on my next turn and then bring myself back up to five you can yeah well you just keep it in your hand and okay sweet uh, there I, couldn't it take it. I didn't know how to take it back all right sweet and now um back over to Haley. Do I grab a card at the beginning or no? You don't. So that's the downside of playing reacts. Reacts are very powerful because they basically, <laughs> you know, make your opponent waste what they're, you know, waste their turn. Um, so we try not to have like too many of them, and they have that drawback of um, now you're starting with three cards instead of four. Mm -hmm. But you've got a lot of energy. You've got three energy, which means um, if I know Soren's deck, he's got. Uh, some big attack cards and you are just two squares away from Viren and Claudia so if you want to charge forward and uh, swing your sword now might be a good time so the form up card I would so I do have an adjacent ally right next to me but when I if say if I approached because he isn't he doesn't have much range right so if I I have I have to approach right like, um yeah. So actually, if you play form up real quick, I think I think this will still be valuable to you. Try throwing that one on the table. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the way that form up works, actually, just like in the moment that it's depicting, um, you know, it, first you check to see if he has an adjacent ally. He does. Now his next attack this turn has a boost. Um, so he doesn't have to stay next to his ally to keep that boost. Gotcha. Okay, um, I wasn't sure about that. Uh, yeah, that that that's that sounds like something I should put in the FAQ. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now uh, now you can you can run forward using your two square basic move, unless you have a leap or something else you want to play. But you you've already got a boost on this. It's going to be 
tough to block. So let's see what happens. Uh, hmm. Wait, that's too. I don't know. Okay, like that. <laughs> yeah, that looks that looks good. Okay. And now you can decide what card you want to play. So the only. I only have a taunt and uh, an attack, so I mean, I'm guessing I would have other want to attack Bobby. right now. <laughs> yeah, go 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 ahead and go ahead and play that uh, attack on. I would try it on Claudia because she's uh, down yeah. to three. Mm -hmm. Rude. Oh yeah, I hope you got a. Ooh, that's a good one for this situation too. Um, all right, so this is rough. This is rough. <laughs> um, I'm afraid. I'm afraid you're going to hit Claudia here because I think we've established that Claudia does not have a react right now. So am I dead? <laughs> well, here's the great thing. <laughs> uh, in this game, you play first to three knockouts. And no, there's no player elimination. Uh, what, what that does is you just knock your character onto their side and then you revive it right at the beginning of your next turn. So there's really no penalty uh, for getting knocked out. Uh, you just, you know take those hearts off your character. We'd flip her on her side normally in Tabletop Simulator. She can stand <laughs> on her head magically. And the heroes get the first point. Okay. Two more of those, they win the game. Okay. And I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the game that that was the objective of the yes. game. <laughs> I was wondering, I was wondering, I was like, what are we playing to again? Like when, when, like, do we, are we trying to kill them? Like, no, that makes sense. I mean, I guess the, the rules are right there, but like, yeah, that makes sense. So then, so then next turn, Claudia would get all our points back and then you would start again. And then if you can knock them out again, the first person to three, or does she only get a limited amount? How does that work? I know she, she, she hops right back up. Um, okay. So there's, there's very little drawback to, to getting knocked out. Um, I will actually. Why don't you play that taunt card because it's a good example of uh, of a different card type. So taunt is a technique, uh, and again, you can play as many techniques per turn as you want. Um, but this is also a timed effect. It has a little hourglass. So if you're alting over that one, mm -hmm. um, you can you can see, uh, and that means you kind of play it here, just sort of um, on the board, so we remember and choose an enemy. And right now, you actually can't target Claudia because she's knocked out. So yeah. That'll be me. And it says, if they make an attack on their next turn, it must target this hero. So essentially, that is a way to protect uh, Ezrin, who is generally the more vulnerable character. Um, oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I like, Thanks, Haley. Uh, I know. I was like, well, why do I? Um, we have the same amount of hearts right now. So I'm like, why would I? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd say two things. One, Soren charges up when he gets attacked. Mm, so okay. that is. Um, it's it's never a terrible thing for him to be attacked in that sense, and uh, then two, he is um, he does have more blocks uh, and things that protect him. Ah. Something uh, I noticed too in this, and when I'm just looking at the kits for Viren, Sword, and Claudia, is that Viren and Claudia's kits are like the exact opposite of Sword's kit. Was that like on purpose? You know, I mean, that is, uh, I, I think, character wise. It makes it, it it's there like the fact that um you know we're really taking soren as like a protector here kind of hints yeah. at his character um but then also you know some of that is just down to like ranged versus melee like yeah. um soren is kind of a classic tank and viren and claudia both fall more into the game archetype of glass cannon uh, oh okay maybe i'm just not well versed then in the tabletop like like uh i want to say lingo but like like a uh, way that works, but I was like, oh, I think it's kind of cool because, like, yeah, he, Soren is like the protector, and I keep thinking every time he says it's a tank, I keep thinking it's like Soren. He's like he's a unit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Soren, he already is a unit, but I kind of find it funny that Viren and Claudia have their hurt either themselves in Viren's case or like sacrifice something versus Soren. He's like. If he if he takes all the hits, then like you know he's protecting someone. I, think, I don't know. I just think that's cool, mm -hmm. narrative wise too. That's awesome. But. Yeah, I mean that's theme is super important to us as we're designing games. Like that's that's my the most fun I have is if I can design a, a card that feels thematic to a character. And so that's here. You know, a tricky thing is like Viren, like Viren versus Ezrin should sound like a joke in terms of like matching those two of them up. 
but you know Viren, super powerful. He's got the most attack cards. He's got some of the most powerful attack cards in the game, which you'll see very soon. Uh, but he he does have that effect of, because he's sort of damaging himself. He gets less powerful over the course of the game. Ezrin, because he's a character, you know, he's a kid. He's growing. He's becoming a leader. Um, yeah. He gets more powerful as he's got you know Bait and Zim and Pira out on the board, uh, and he's also a good leader and support character. So. Uh, okay. Trying to trying to find those things is uh, is is part of the fun. Um, cool. All right. So um, the last thing, actually, uh, we neglected um, one oh. thing about spinning strike. This has a hit ability, which says Soren may move one square, then make an extra basic attack. So this is a spinning strike. So you just hit Claudia. Now you can spin, <laughs> move one square toward Virin, and make a basic attack on him. Uh, and that is. This is a tough one. Oh, no, it's not a tough one. I cannot block this. Uh, <laughs> so I have no decision to make. I <laughs> just take two damage. So look at that. Soren just did five damage in one turn. That is definitely unit, unit behavior. So um, curious though, because wasn't Claudia knocked out when he attacked, or did, can he do that? Um, or so he, he come back up? Um, he attacked Claudia, knocked her out, and then... Oh, okay. Uh, that hit ability just triggers on whether or not he hit. Oh, wait, we were still on the same turn. Okay. So we were still on the same turn <laughs> after my long monologue. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but you know I'm a villain right now, so monologuing yes. is in character. <laughs> I need to draw one card. Is that that? Now you, now you get to draw four cards, so what? you can always fully replenish your hand. Oh, okay. Uh, so you just had a killer turn. You, if you can draw, uh, if you can play all four cards in your hand um, and knock somebody out and do two damage to somebody else. That's about as good as the turn gets. So awesome. congratulations. But now it's time for Claudia's revenge. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Me. Deep cut on your turn. Uh, the first thing you do is you flip Claudia back into, oh, oh no. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Back, back to life. Um, and you can drag, uh, sort of drag and move those hearts back onto her. Oops. Haphazardly. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, you can arrange those to suit your tendencies as, as you like. And then now you can see what you've got to play. And there's no so I can only move at the beginning of my turn. I can't do it after an attack. Actually, you can, you can move whenever you want. Um, so uh, you can kind of, your actions in this game are in any order. The only limitation is you only get one move and one <clears> attack unless you've got something special going on like that spinning strike. Cool. Uh, I think to start, I'm going to go ahead and discard one of my cards in order to use my special ability to bring my energy up to four. Smart. And then I'm going to play this card, which lets me deal within three range, which I should be able to hit either or, correct? That's right. And you don't have, you, you weren't taunted, so you can attack either. Ah, interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Haley seems dangerous. I think we need to take her out. <laughs> Let's attack her. Well, who right. did I, oh, I, 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 and one thing we should have done is um, uh, Soren is actually was would have been at zero energy. Um, oh, that's okay. Uh, by the way, in Tabletop simul Simulator, the only way to get to zero is to press six. So kind of oh, counterintuitive. Okay. Uh, but uh, <laughs> then you go boop, back up to one uh, because you're being attacked and yeah writhing grasp is coming your way so with all those new cards you drew did you draw any blocks no uh, i think repost would be the card you'd be looking for no just so if techniques you, if you don't have that oh a hand of techniques that's wild okay then um you take two damage and you can't move on your next turn so we'll leave this out um it's another timed card, so just as a reminder that you can't move. Cool. And then and I'm going to play a movement card next, so I can just get four spaces away. What would be an ideal space to get away from these guys right now? I run. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of. Um, it's 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 going to be pretty hard to hide on this map, but just getting away from Soren should you know I would just move as far from Soren as you can because Soren can't move. And as a melee fighter, that's going to kind of waste Soren's next turn. One, two, three, no. four. <laughs> that works. I'm All right. Uh, 
that should end my turn. So I discard two and then I draw two? Or? Um, yeah, so don't forget to tick down your energy to two. All right. And then, do I, sorry, how many cards do I draw? Do I get a full hand again? You uh, you do get a full hand. So you, you always draw to whatever the difference is to get you to four. Cool. Okay. Oh, I finally have brown cards. How nice. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm in a kind of a crazy situation here. I've got only one health and I've got a bunch of expensive stuff in my in my hand. So I think I'm going to have to do it. Even though Viren's only at one at two hearts, I'm going to deal myself one more damage. Uh -oh. Get all the way up to 3. I get to draw a card because of Erevos. And now, ooh, that's kind of handy. Um now I'm going to play Siphon Power. So Siphon Power would normally cost four. Look, I'm even like, I'm doing it in the exact right spot. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this card comes with a built-in boost. Uh, so unless you've got two blocks, and I don't think you have any, uh, this is gonna hit. Uh, this is going to take four hearts and two energy away from Soren. So unless- I even got that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm afraid. Um, boom! That is gonna knock you out. Oh. I've siphoned your power. Mm -hmm. Those those hearts are off to the side. Your own son. This <laughs> is. I know. It's. I, I I'd like to think I hesitated before I did it, but boom. I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't. And now I'm. Uh, Viren is also not a very fast character. I'm just going to move back here in the hopes of mm -hmm. staying away. Um, and the other thing that actually happened, well, it's, it doesn't really matter at this point, uh, but the taunt would disappear because uh, ongoing stuff gets knocked out. Um, alrighty. Um, and oops, I shouldn't have. I should have left, left that out on the table. My bad. Okay. Um, you get like a token, don't you? Like one token. I do. I do. Thank you. So I've earned one for the team over here. So we're we're we're, we're one to one, and oh Jesus! I, I'm very I'm so that took all every bit of energy I had. Um, Come on. So I'm. It's I'm, okay. I have a plan. Okay. Oh. I, I'm gonna get rid of this card in the hopes of drawing something that might energize me. All right. Over to Ezrin. All right. I think I got the hang of this now, so let's see. Um, I think I'm going to play Zappy Kisses because I kind of need it. Perfect. Um, uh, so I'm going to put them at this card, and then I'll take me up to five. Okay. And awesome. I think now would be a great time to play Pyrrha. <laughs> Just a little bit. Feels like a dragon um, could be handy here. Yes. He's like, uh, okay, um, turn Pyrrha comes into play. Ezrin's basic attack gains a boost and plus two. Jesus. Um, yeah. So, so this this is now now you've like leveled up Ezrin here. So now Ezrin's basic attack um, is is doing a total of five damage or sorry four damage, um, wow. <laughs> and <laughs> and has a boost this turn. Yeah. So he's, with Zim is two, and then with Pure it's plus two, plus um, uh, okay. And the turn she comes into play right now it's like base of four and then with the boost correct Appreciate that you know Pira is female uh yeah <laughs> uh so one thing is uh you now have to decide who you want to hit um i've got i'm over here if you one two three uh you could easily get over here um and not that it matters a lot on this map but you get to fly now okay. uh and then uh or you could uh focus on Claudia. So you could take me out and get a token, or you could deal four damage to Claudia. I, I That feels like the better choice to me, but that is up yeah. to you. I'm well, she's right there. Yeah, <laughs> and Frank, she's right next to me. Um, so, and I don't think I can get far enough away for her to not attack me. But And so, with the boost, um, how would I, uh, how would that come into play on my base attack? So what all the boost means is that uh, that means it now needs two blocks. Oh, uh, okay. So in other words, you can't unless this unless they have like two block cards, they can't they can't block me. Okay. Yeah, um, and that would be tough. Claudia would need two shadow shields in her hand. 
to. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna attack Claudia because okay. actually I'm gonna move a little bit, so I'm gonna move like I'll move like two away just so she can't. Or if I go move three away, can she? Can I still attack her? Um, yeah, you can. You can definitely still attack her. Um, your range, her your range is three, but she can also. You know, you're, it's pretty hard for you to get out of her range, yeah. uh, especially yeah. on a small map like this. I uh, guess it doesn't matter. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move like, I'm still gonna move just in case. But I'm gonna move, um, and then I'm gonna attack her. So I'm gonna take out I think four of her hearts, and unless Deep Cut has two block cards, that means she's down to one health. I don't yeah. think I have any block cards. So. All right, you've got us on the ropes. <laughs> so Claudia is not the blockiest character. Uh, she tends to uh, match up really well with Soren as a team because he's able to protect her. Oh, um, <laughs> emotional. <laughs> but uh, I know this is getting kind of emotional. <laughs> yeah, without without Soren, just look look what happens. Um, all right. Interesting. So we are we're 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 in trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then, unless you have any techniques you want to play, that's oh, going to be the end of your turn. I do not, so I'm going to draw two, um, and that's the end of my turn. Yeah, and then I think that one's Ooh. at zero. All right, over to Haley. Okay, like I'm just like okay, so I could. <laughs> There's like so many things I think I could do because like I mean I know you only have one health, right? So yeah, you, you you first thing is you flip back into action and you get all seven of your health back. Oh, that's looking. Uh, I'm sorry, deep cut. <laughs> this isn't looking great for us. Yeah, this does not look good. Uh huh. So like, you can do anything really? Yeah, you can. You can. Just gotta breathe on beer. I mean, yeah, I just wanna. Yeah, Claudia is far enough away. As for Claudia, you'd need a move a move card to get to her. But for me, you are so, one basic move away. Yeah, if I just do the basic move on you, yeah. and you block it, could I just do another move right after? Um, no, you can only do one move and one attack. But uh, I, I have mean, zero energy, attack. and not to uh, you know put myself at a disadvantage. But oh. Viren, all of Viren's react cards cost energy, so um, I do not have a way of. Oh, okay. This thing is like killing them quick. Wait, what uh, energy? Do I need Don't to be back tell at them five? Our weaknesses. Oh, wait, what, what's the energy here? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to be fair. Uh, yeah, so I do think Soren is at zero right now because of that, um, because I used uh, Siphon Power. So Siphon Power is a energy sucking attack. Oh, whoopsies. I don't know what I just did. Uh, okay, wait, so the, I can still do the basic attack then? For sure, for sure. Did I move yet? <laughs> no, you're not moving yet. Soren's a little basic, right? <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so then I'm going to attack you. And I'm afraid I do have to take it. So, boom. Farin is knocked out. Goodbye, Dad. Oh, wait! Wait, 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 wait! We forgot about something. This card. What is that? <laughs> that... Oh! <laughs> oh, Soren can't move, so Soren can't do nothing. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't know that counted if uh, they were dead. Um, it 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 does. It, it's that's a that's a fair. If if Claudia got knocked out, that would be wiped. But mm. uh, it only wipes out the timed cards of whoever played the card uh, mm. when when they get knocked out. So, uh, it, I know that does feel a little op, but that's uh, in this situation <laughs> how it works. Fair so, enough. So so unless um. If you if you have any um, any uh, cards in your hand, any techniques, those brown cards, that might there might still be something interesting you can play. Okay, so like second wind. Second winds. Well, second wind is an awesome card if you could move. <laughs> <laughs> if you could move. Um. So I could do like I could just show off. Do like just to show charge. off is good. Do show off. Yeah. I want to see what show off is. <laughs> yeah, like Darren has more. And then the push-ups with his. Okay, fingers. that's that's a fair card for him. Yeah. That so yeah, you 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 can you can you can flex on our one heart selves with your seven hearts. Uh, <laughs> so, so that gives you a couple of energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's doing push-ups in front of his dad, who's trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> 
the family drama <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that might break the tension of the climactic uh, episode. <laughs> The only other thing I have is taunts, but I don't know that, like, why, I don't think he could even reach Ezrin. I mean, maybe he could if he moved. Uh, I mean, taunt's not a bad card to play. You might as well just play it just to get it out of your hand, too. Oh, okay, um, true, true. Okay. Uh, do I, I leave say, it up here, or do I? Yeah, you leave it up there. And okay. normally Ezrin, like, Ezrin's felt pretty strong this game. Normally Ezrin spends <laughs> at least some time running and hiding, uh, because he's only got that five health, mm -hmm. and... Um, only, I think, one block card in his whole deck, so... Zorin kind of did all the heavy lifting, honestly, against his sister and father. <laughs> uh, well, there's there's a guy, Sam Smith, Lord of the Board, who's been, like, intensively playtesting these characters and doing, like, working on, like, character strategy guides, and he says that Zorin and uh, Ezrin is his favorite combo, so... Mm. Awesome. All right, so that's the end of your turn. And now... Now this card goes away, and now you get to draw your two cards and deep cut. Let's. What can we do with our our remaining hearts? You've at All least right, got so two energy. Don't, I got this. Hold up. <laughs> nice. I got this. All right. First off, obviously the best because like all you have to do is knock someone out three times. All we got to do is aim for Ezrin and just deal with Soren on the side. We're both low hearts, so we don't both want to die in the next turn because we'll lose. <laughs> However. Who is, a... who is taunted right now, though? Um, Haley, are you taunting oh. me or are you taunting um, Claudia? Oh, I was. St I thought I had. Like, I didn't know he could taunt far away. <laughs> I, I don't. Um, I was just gonna put Viren. I guess. Okay. All right. So you've taunted Viren. So Viren has to attack you. All right. If he attacks. Uh, if he attacks. So right. if you're not able to just win this game on your turn. So let's see, Deep Cut, what you got? Oh, I have a plan. Hold up. Okay, so choose an ally. They charge one energy. And for each card you discard, they gain one heart. I can discard all three of my cards to bring you back up to health. I'm pretty much screwed either way. But this way, we don't both get killed in the next turn. This the rules. Game. I like this a lot. Okay. <laughs> exactly what happens at the end. Of split of it. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I like that. All right, so, so you found a dead soldier, or a not dead soldier, uh, <laughs> nearby, and now they may be less alive, but Viren is more alive. Good move. Very Claudia. And you can still make a basic attack on one, two. You could still reach Ezrin with a basic attack, just ping him for one damage. Cool, yeah, absolutely. I'll attack Ezrin. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, All right, unless you have hide, that would do one I, damage. Hey, I do have hide. Oh, All right. So, so that I would... gave one block. Okay, so then it doesn't affect me then. That's right. You okay. you f you find a uh, convenient grate somewhere at the top of the storm spire binnacle and hide in there <laughs> real quick. Hey. And okay. then I can still move if I want to, right? Uh, you can. Yes. <laughs> one, two three for now, I think oh, I'll move. Interesting. Just trying to stay out of the way and try and use my cards to help, basically. I, I, that's smart. So you're keeping you're a distance from Soren because I'm 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 in much better shape now. All right. Okay. Kill her. Oh, <laughs> With all my health? I know, he did a lot last time, so you guys do that. I gotta go grab something to drink, but I'll be right back. Okay. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I think so. It's not unusual to be a little energy poor with Viren. I think what I'm going to have to do is give up one of some of my newfound health, get myself up to three, draw a card. That's not quite what I was looking for. Uh oh. All right. I'm going to just make a basic attack on Soren, uh, actually. Try to save my energy for something back. big. Um, so you didn't miss much. I'm just attacking Haley for two damage. No boosts. Uh, so Wait, if you've got... Uh, well, I only have protect, which wouldn't... Okay. Would that... Would... That would not protect yourself. Yeah. So um, you will take two damage. Um, but then when you've got that card in your hand, it's a good time to... Um, um, 
get next to Ezrin. So. Oh. Well, uh, I want which which you couldn't do last turn anyway, but now yeah. now you've got that. And then I actually have to discard a card because I now have five cards in my hand. I'm going to discard strategize, which is kind of an interesting technique that lets me move. Um, but at the moment, not what I need. So that's going to be the end of Viren's turn. Okay. So um, I think the first, uh, if you, this is a play, you would move it to this page. Okay, so I think I'm going to play bait, just in case. So I love that, but you are currently at zero energy. Oh, um, so okay. in, unless So unless you've got a way of gaining energy, um, oh, shoot. Okay. you might just have to, this this might be a Ezrin hides and gains two energy from not attacking turn. Okay, could, that's fair. Couldn't you get Claudia? I could, yeah. So I'm thinking. Um, so that's when he, true. When oh he gosh, gets, yeah, yeah. I forgot that Claudia was at one. Yeah. When well, he, I think I just. <laughs> when um, so with um, Ezrin, when his has so is there a difference between the fl three fly and three, like. Run not really on this map. Like if we were at the breach and there was lava everywhere, it would oh. matter more. Here, yeah. um, and then if we were playing with the advanced rules where. Um, you can't run past melee characters okay. and characters block line of like enemies block line of sight. Then that's where flying becomes more relevant. In this turn, in this, it just means you can go one, two, three instead of one, two, three. So it doesn't okay. really make a that difference. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So if that's the case. I'm just going to do the best thing I had because I was going to go for Viren, but um, we're going to move a little bit. We're just going to move like right here. I don't really need to be that close to her to do it. Um, and I'm going to attack Claudia and okay. my basic uh, three attack actually with Zim still on the board. So that pretty much takes Claudia out. Uh, yeah, so that's going to do two damage to Claudia, um, which doesn't really matter. All you need to do is one. I'll take this. Boom. Claudia hits the, hits the pavement there. And that's, you know, the drawback though is because Ezrin attacked, um, he does not get to charge up. So if you have, you, you know, Ezrin has a couple cards that charge him up. So if you've got a card you don't think you're going to use on your next turn, now might be a good time to discard it so that you can draw two more cards and put them in your hand. Mm, let's see. But while you're making that decision, I think we can go over to Haley. Yeah, I think I'm just going to draw my one. I kind of like all the cards I have right now. Okay, cool. So... Uh, second wind would was like what's their last turn count? Does that not count? Because he was... uh, yeah. So um, Soren is no longer uh, Soren could still gain some energy from second wind, but wouldn't get the other boost from it because um, he it's now been two turns since he was knocked out. Gotcha. Uh... But the binding, you know the. the Magical tentacles no longer around him. He yeah. can now run around as he sees fit. Well, I'll just, yeah. I'll just do that. Okay. And then well, I could. Uh, I'm just. I'm not sure the order I have to do things in, or how often. Um, you can pretty much do do them in any order you want, as long as you're sticking to paying for stuff with energy and one move and one attack. So you could move and attack Viren and you'd knock him out. Not necessarily, right? Because my, yeah. my basic attack is only two. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got rid of a uh, second one. I do have uh, kick. Okay, so... So I could... If I... Do I move now or do I... Yeah, yeah, you can move now. Boom, boom. Two. All right. So this is going to be... Yeah, it's a fateful thing. So... That would be enough to knock me out and win the game. Woo. Um, so that's going to force me to play <laughs> my React, which is Halt. And again, just nice. thematically, we are on point here. Erevos uh, pops into existence there, uh, right here at the top of the Storm Spiral Pinnacle. It stops Soren from kicking his dad off. <laughs> so, the, but what? Uh, so. You so you would need two um, react cards that two boost cards. Um, 
So this is the only card in the game that actually has two blocks built in. Oh, okay, because I have a, oh. I have one that has a boost, but I keep, but I don't think it's enough. It's only you gain one. En encourage would not be quite enough uh, to make it happen here. Dang. So uh, good try though. Uh, that if I had it, if I if it was any other react, that would have that would have worked, and it would have been really dramatic because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was you. feeling really good about this card. But okay, so boom, I'm able to with some help from Erebos, block Sorin's killing blow mm -hmm. I'm right off the spot. <laughs> um so then can i do a basic attack no that's it that was that was your one attack for the turn so oh, unless yeah. you have another technique you want to play um then i have duel sure um that's that's worth playing and playing <laughs> it on me so that's another one that kind of goes on the board so we ah. remember it's there um so you're like all right i'm uh, didn't kick you off, but we are Let's we're mano a mano now. <laughs> this is this is it, uh, mm -hmm. and that's going to give you a boost too. So unless I can get away from you or bring you down this next turn, uh, that that card might be game over. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So then I grab three. Three okay. exciting stuff. Soren's been Soren's been tough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, your your love for Soren is 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 coming through. Okay, <laughs> you've got. Uh, at least you are you are fully back in action now. Um, oh, um, so strategy wise, I could try attacking Ezrin. I won't do too much damage. It sounds like we need to knock Haley out. Should I be trying to get a little bit closer and just use whatever attack I can? I'm not even sure if I can. Two, three, and then you'd still be one, two, three, four away and my range is like three on all of my attacks oh wait i have a sprint card hey hey nice those so sometimes come in handy one two three four so we'll be one two three away from me now okay. so now i can attack um yeah Ooh. if you have an attack card and then uh of course you can discard a card to charge up if you've got something that costs three Nothing that'll help me right now. I think I should discard one card. Well, I'll keep that one. That one looks Maybe good. Maybe keep no? that one. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that one I want to keep, but this one I was thinking. Yeah. I'd throw yeah. that out to give me a boost in case we survive one more turn. But in the meantime, all I can do is my basic attack, which okay. would only do one damage. Every damage counts. Yeah. Should I take one off? Yeah. What is a uh, Mighty Strike? It says this has... That, that that one uh, that's this one has that that has a built-in boost so that would need two blocks oh to, okay uh, i gotcha okay um so okay you really you're gonna um and that's probably you know uh it's a unique thing about the system and and maybe a little um confusing it's just that that block and boost system and the fact that it's all or nothing mm -hmm. um all right um so i think then it's over to me Kill her, Johnny. <laughs> I've I can do stuff, but I don't think I can do enough. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move one, two. Oh no. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh no. All right. Close uh, enough that we'd be allies. Ezra, knock him out next time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just pondering here for a second. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take one more damage charge all the way up to five and cast greater fullness um uh, slam the staff of Zyard into the storm spire pinnacle and send the lightning arcing out to both of you guys uh, it has oh. a boost and it deals three damage to each of you oh man i don't think that's going to be enough to win us the game but it at least got you within striking range uh Mm -hmm. But I'm still right there next to Soren, yeah. and I'm down to one energy. And uh, I'm going to draw. I'm actually going to discard this card and draw three cards in the hopes of getting something that helps me. Oh, actually, I would have had one card more. Um, okay, I'll just do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I feel like my best uh, thing probably. I mean, I guess I could. My, well, actually, no, my basic attack wouldn't do it. Oh, no, no, yes, it was. I could take Viren out, maybe. 
Yeah, it's then it's. Take it I out. mean, you, if not, then I'll take him out. <laughs> I mean, I think you really want to attack with Claudia. I attack Claudia. <laughs> I know. I was like, I don't know if I want to attack Claudia. Um, let's see. If I were to move to Viren and attack him, Claudia almost assuredly will take me out, and I don't get my charge for the next turn. So but actually, I'm after you. So. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah. But you don't have enough to, to kill Claudia. Well, she could, we all you have to do Viren. is. All you need is one more, one more knockout token. Oh so, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm if saying. You can, go for Viren. If you take me oh, out, yeah. it's game oh, over. Yeah. Huh. And even if he has a block or something, I'll maybe I'll be able to. It's fine. I'm just like, it's. I did not think of that in my mind. There was still more. To, okay, so we're just gonna attack Viren then and win the game, and then poor Claudia is just gonna have to like go to like you know, prison or, or somewhere for a while. <laughs> uh, well. I think, hmm. Unless you have something to block it. Just taking one, one, one screenshot of this, this setup because I love it. <laughs> and feels feels like a good, uh, a, a good ending. And indeed, I do not have a block I can play. I do have a second halt in my deck, but it would have cost me two energy, and I've only got one. Um, so that is it. Ooh. You have you've successfully. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Girls win again. Just threw him off. Yeah, I, I think actually, you know, Ezrin wouldn't. Ezrin wouldn't knock uh, Viren off of the storm fire. He'd just get zapped by Zem and and be kind of uh, paralyzed there temporarily. So that is it. Congratulations, uh, Deep Cut. Just take comfort in the fact that they had only three total hearts left. If we if it had come back around to our turn, we totally would have won. So, we would have gotten one token. Uh, well, no, we could have gotten both. both of um, yeah. because oh, because we could have killed them. Okay, got it. Yeah, that yeah, we, yeah. I, I, it was close. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, so that's the Dragon Prince Battle Charged. Thanks for taking the time to play. Thank you Thanks so much. For for, Thanks yeah, for having us. Yeah, this was fun. I, I enjoy it. I, I'm excited to play the board game, the actual physical one, when it comes out. Yeah, I got, yeah I this will be one I can play with my nephews and nieces, even. And thank you all for watching. Once again, you can pre-order the game now by clicking the link in the description. Also, if you want to check out the Hot Brown Morning Potion podcast, there will also be a link for that. Until the next Dragon Prince video, have an animated day.